Welcome to Creative Spaces Podcast with Guy Zwick, Chief Creative Officer of Highway 85 Creative. In each episode, we will discuss creative ways to define your space and build your brand. You were lucky enough to work with Harley Davidson of Scottsdale, the largest Harley Davidson dealership in the world. Do I have that right? You, um, boy, yeah. I don't want to get in trouble, but yeah, all those Harley Davidson dealers. Uh, well, I'm the largest rental, and I'm the largest, so they have there. But yes, yeah, this is the you know the largest square foot. What is the Harley square? Di- what is the square footage of this Harley Davidson? I about? believe it's roughly 155,000 okay. square feet, three stories. Um, it is an experience like no other Harley Davidson in the world. I, I am, can promise you that. And Highway 85 was at the heart of that build. So when we were just talking about design and emotion and a small boutique local creative shop lands this project. Talk to me about that project. I mean, how did you win the job? And then talk to me about the job itself because this is – sure. This is this is stuff that yeah, folks would it, like to hear. That's a really it, big marquee it, client. It, that it, yes, it is. And it was a huge project, and uh, quite frankly, we were um, a third of the size of we are now when we did that project too. So if you if you saw what we did in a small shop and rented a ten thousand square foot facility to store all those things as we built them, it was it was it was it was amazing, and uh, you know. It, it wasn't our brainchild. It really was Bob Parsons, the GoDaddy Bob Parsons, um, who owns Harley Davidson of Scottsdale. It was ultimately his division, uh, his vision, I should say, to create uh, a an environment and an experience like no other that uh, both inspired the Harley Davidson employee, the Harley Davidson lover, to. The community here in Scottsdale, Phoenix, it's in Scottsdale, but, you know, in Phoenix and Arizona, and he wanted it to be a destination. So whether you were from Japan flying in, you definitely want to rent a bike and you want to, you know, go uh, through you know, up to the Grand Canyon and you start, you start your ride at Harley Davidson of Scottsdale and you end your rides, whether you're local, whether you're an out of towner and, you know, the word would spread that you had to have, you know, apparel from Harley Davidson Scott. You had to view it, and you could come into this environment repeatedly and have a new experience because there's so much to take in or do. For example, there's wedding chapels, there is tattoo parlors, there's an arcade, there is a photo um, booth, and there's audio rooms, and there's tons of bikes and tons of inventory and tons of retail. Well. Tons of retail. Um, there is a sales experience where they have bike lifts next to the sales bike stations that we built. And the idea behind this is that salesperson that you know is working has got his favorite bike accessorized the way he likes it to be accessorized. So he's excited about you know selling you know uh, right. his flair to, you know, the Harley Davidson, to the parts counters, amazing bar area. They have a, uh, you know, a whole homage to all the armed forces. Um, you know, Bob's a, um, a Purple Heart Vietnam vet, so he's got a, a very close ties to, uh, you know, the military. So in the service center, we built some, some large graphic homage to all the armed forces and the police departments and the POWs and... Um, it's just, yeah, it's amazing. The the water stations, um, when you pull up, are all in the parking lot to fill your bottles, to do your do-rags, to barbecues on the weekends, a concert area out front. I mean, it's a movie theater. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's truly yeah. a destination it spot. It is. So, so, but as it re- so, so as it relates to, you yeah, know, you, how I, do we get chosen and how do we get this wonderful project and well, collaborate me, me, with uh, Harley I, Davidson I do want I do want to ask that, but I also want you to talk about, I mean, let me just fast forward for a second, because um, would you say that you had how many pieces of couple? You had f- a few hundred pieces of things that you did, from signage to graphics to uh, we did all the signage, custom yeah, furniture, all the fixtures. Signage, Talk to me about the specifics to, of the job. Basically, 
everything that's the the beauty and let's just say the pizzazz of that interior right. was done by Highway 85. And I'm, you know, Hardison Down, there's a lot of other great the architects, you know, sure. KG architects, and they all did a wonderful job, and we collaborated with all of them. But what you're specifically asking, if someone walked through, the, what'd you do? Well, I mean, if you just look at the Founding Father mural to the wall and the reception in front of you to the helmet walls to the T-shirt uh, display uh, monster 40 foot t shirt display that we built. Um, everything else you see in there signage, sales areas, call centers, rental area. I mean, yeah, we just go to our website and, <laughs> and, and look and, at all the photos. And we will, and, but here's, but here's, yes, here's the there's point, a though. lot to it. Harley Davidson itself is an iconic brand. It's a world, it's a global brand. It's one of the most recognized brands in the world, mm-hmm. specifically in the country as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and the heart and soul of that story at that at that facility is Highway 85. That's pretty impressive. And I, I, I just hope more people know that the – it's almost like Intel inside, you know, the, the, the processor chip for a lot of the um, computers out there. It's Highway 85 inside, the story of that brand, right? It came to life because of you guys. It did. And I will say that, you know, we are working on some some – sales promotional type stuff that pertain to that project but even more importantly than you know promoting that we were such a huge part of it it was it was more important for this team and myself to know that uh, we could do it and uh, we don't necessarily need the accolades for that i mean i want to turn in some dollars because it's such a big project but being able you know when we took that thing on and that challenge and as it grew and became the beast and we were working on all the designs and it was growing and growing over a six month period before we started production, you know, it was a, it was a lot to bite off and, and do. And, you know, it was just, uh, Hey, so well, yeah. there's a will, there's a way and we accomplished it. And we are all so proud of it. The, the small team that worked on that, that, um, you know, I don't think that, we need anybody to tell us that it was great. I think we know it's great. As a client, Bob Parsons, you also won his PXG retail shop job. Yes, we did. So, so that's this guy that turned the golfing world on its ear. Being mm-hmm. a, an avid golfer myself, pre diapers, I used to play a lot more. Not me. My kids are in diapers, <laughs> um, but but I used to get on play. The, the, that was the, great. The, I love the, that. The, the, he basically said, I'm doing something that no one's ever done before. I mean, successfully. Mm-hmm. And in fact, this past week, um, two of the, th- of the final three in the last, f- in the last threesome were PXG mm-hmm. um, club holders. So let me ask you this. How did, did, you get, did you just parlay the success of Harley straight into PXG? Did Bob come to you and say, I want to work with Highway 85? Or how did that come to be? We did some initial designs and, and, uh, for his PXG team. And then we almost got nixed out by an outside firm who specializes in that golf world and made a last ditch effort to, Hey, we had a final meeting. There was a bunch of changes. I'm going to make these rendering changes and Hey, can someone get in front of Bob, you know, give us a last shot at this. I really want to work on this project. And, uh, we did something in the design that evoked an emotion (laughs) with Bob, uh, in particular, um, we stylized a cool Ducati bike um, and it, to become a BXG bike and blew it up on a wall, one of the walls that were in the, you know, that currently is there, but um, they were going to be building and built a 45 foot by 18 foot version of this on the wall. Flipping through that, the, the story I, I, I hear is that he gravitated to that image and then re, re asked, who's this again? And it was like, well, these are the Harley guys, you know, the guys that did the Harley. And it was like, okay, give it, give it, give it to them. See, this this comes to me. That's that's brilliant. Right? That comes full circle. Some people talk and apparently about they s- built two of those bikes for him. They, versions of the bike, that real he, real bikes. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, but the point we've been is, curse for having <laughs> you caused that problem for somebody else. <laughs> you were out of the account for the most part, and you went back to the drawing board and said, "Listen, let me let me find something evocative in here. Let me find something design that hits home." And not only did you nail it. You got the account, and now yeah, it's a, an amazing headquarters with a retail space, and 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 where they do all the, a lot of the fittings, um, with all the hitting bays and the putting bay, and yeah, it's that 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 place is definitely inspiring to watch it be in stalls out at his golf course in Scottsdale National. 
um, little trailers to um, being with that team now that they're just exploding and uh, in how they're doing it. Yeah, no, it's inspiring. And I'm glad we got it, got that project and we're synonymous with the people who build that. And uh, we've got some traction. You know, a lot of people have been there and seen that place and come to us because of it. So uh, thank you to them. Talk a little bit about your home now in Glendale, what you have here on premise, your people. Uh, talk to me about how big you guys are right now. We try to do everything in-house that we can do in-house. Um, we have a full, uh, functional, large-format graphic production facility in Bi-Direct Graphics here internally. We do die-sub graphic production, flatbed printing, latex printing, vinyl cutting, 3D printing, um, a lot of heat transfer with the die-sub to different uh, materials for some of our clients. Um, and then we have a nice cabinet shop uh, to build all this custom custom components to the exhibits and interiors and retail spaces um, with a CNC machine and fully equipped uh, um, uh, machine also to, to do signage, uh, kind of dueling. The, the shop does a lot of the signage uh, finishing department with spray booths and um, whether it's you know, painting letters to finishing, you know, uh, wood and uh, staining like we did a lot of the work at Harley Davidson. Um, we do storage on in, uh, um, here right. for our exhibit clients, uh, store a lot of our, our exhibits and, and our rental inventory, um, have metal, uh, a metal fab uh, in Renee here uh, on premises. And we're currently now... Uh, adding on to this building. So we purchased this building a, a year and a half ago-ish simply because it was on an acre, had some room to grow uh, this facility some more. And so we're already working on that because we're already – we need more space to build more cool things. <laughs> we need space. And we have a design team. I should say, well, I'm not telling you everything. We have a full design staff in, in-house. Right. Support, design staff, support, production staff, support, support yeah. staff, and, and a bulldog uh, named Ziggy. And a bulldog named Ziggy, and uh, what about Bob? He's right below us here. If I stomp three times, he comes up, so maybe Bob will come up for a... <laughs> a uh, cameo. I like a that. A cameo. So where you are right now, right? So a year from now, what's success to Highway 85? My biggest thing for Highway 85 is is I want to, um, I want to keep this team intact. I have not lost 08, 09, 10 years where it was a struggle to stay afloat, where we had to let you know key staff members go. Um, so uh, the way I'm positioning this company is growing, but not growing so fast that you know the well, downturns coming at some point, two, three years, whatever. Um, that we're not prepared to to. We want to still thrive and keep this dynamic team intact and grow smart, slow, and um, and then you know keep this culture intact those are those are big things so everything else we do we're happy you know i think we do good work all the time you know we strive for what's bob say we strive for great but we we're pretty darn good most of the time (laughs) um whatever he says in the videos was off you know was was awesome and it's true um so yeah we're growing but we just want to do it smart you know and make sure that we're taking care of our clients and keeping this team intact i mean that's that's my you know, that's an honest. I'm not looking to take over the world or make millions of dollars. You know, I just want to be happy and have a team of people that are happy, and we all like working. Yeah, together. and if you grow because you're doing great work, that's great. But yes. organic growth is smart because you're just you're just never getting too big, and you always have the right team in place to yep to handle the to yep. handle the issues for your clients. Yep. Thank you for listening to Creative Spaces podcast. For more information about Highway 85 Creative, visit us at highway85creative.com.